The film industry has its fair share of notable groups. Most of them are affiliated against their will, but thanks to their fan bases, the names stick around and become iconic. You may have heard of the Rat Pack, consisting of Frank Sinatra and Friends, the Brat Pack, led by Emilio Estevez, and the Frat Pack, led by Ben Stiller. There are others, but one group of actors and actresses that never gets mentioned, and to my knowledge was never formed, was the Brat Pack. Trust me, I didn't just pull a list of fantasy actors out of thin air. These people had a legit era of collaboration that is largely overlooked and underappreciated in the grand scheme of film history. A huge reason for that is because of the controversial nature of a lot of their films. They were big players in the 90s to mid-2000s golden era of dark, gritty teen films. An era that's marked by heroin chic, over-sexualized kids, teenagers with bottomless bank accounts and a disturbingly easy access to recreational drugs, and AIDS. Add in the fact that most of the filmmakers were independent and most of the films didn't make a profit, then it's easy to see why Hollywood keeps this one dead and buried. Controversy aside, I believe that the performers who represented this bleak generation deserve their flowers, which is why I've decided to assemble the Brad Pack. Named after the late actor himself, here's the criteria that determines who's qualified to join the group. The actor slash actress in question should have either A starred in at least two dark era films with Brad Renfro, B played a major role in Bully, or C starred in at least two dark era films with other major Bully 2001 characters. The reason why I'm using Bully is because, in my opinion, that's the main anchor film of the Brad Pack era. Kinda like how The Breakfast Club is the anchor film of the Brad Pack era. Under this criteria, the Brad Pack comes up to 10 members. 4 guys and 6 girls. Brad Renfro is the leader of course, Beju Phillips is the first lady, because she was not only a main character in Bully, but she also has quite the dark catalogue of her own, including 2001's Tart, which not only starred Brad, but also two other prime members of the Brad Pack. Number 3 is Misha Barton. Miss Barton had a very solid run during the dark era. She starred with Brad in the controversial 2000 comedy Skip Parts, with Biju Phillips, Dominique Swain, and Brad once again in Tart. She's the only mainline Brad Pack member, besides Brad himself, to have starred with Piper Parabo when she appeared in 2001's Lost and Delirious. And to top it all off, she starred alongside BJ Phillips in the 2003 horror thriller Octane. The last mainline member of the Brad Pack is Dominique Swain. Swain had quite a teen film career of her own going on, but she still found time to be a part of the Brad Pack era. She starred alongside Brad, Bijou and Barton in Tart, and she's the only Brad Pack member besides Brad himself who appeared in the 2001 dark comedy Happy Campers. On a side note, even though it's not a Brad Pack film, she also starred with Brad in the 2003 crime film The Job. Nick Stahl, Rachel Miner, Kelly Garner, Michael Pitt, and Daniel Franzese are numbers 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 in the Brad Pack, respectively. There's no need to go through them one by one, since they all fall into the B category of being major characters in Bully. Number 10 is the outcast of the group, Piper Parabo. I call her the outcast because I'm cheating by having her on here. I really didn't feel good on ending it at an odd number, so I decided to compromise and stretch the rules a bit to compensate for one more member, which ended up being Piper. She starred alongside Barton in Lost and Delirious and alongside Brad himself in the 2006 Mafia movie Tent and Wolf. And that's the entire Brad Pack. Objectively, there's 9 members, but since no one has officially done this before and it's my video, I can do whatever I want, I say it's 10. The Brad Pack may never get the recognition or respect that they deserve for their contribution to teen film history, thanks to how grim and tasteless their movies were at times, but at least through this video I'm able to show my appreciation for their work and pay my respects to the legend himself, Brad Renfro. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to know when I upload next. This has been Andre Darius, and I'll see you all next time. God bless.